So this is a quick show and tell on uh, Apple Server and Profile Manager. I'm going to go ahead and create a new profile here in Profile Manager. Now there's many tutorials on setting up Profile Manager in Apple Server uh, on uh, YouTube. So I got to skip over that part. It's pretty straightforward. Right now I'm downloading the uh, trust profile that I just created for this particular profile. You'll need that in a couple minutes when you uh, begin working with uh, uh, Apple Configurator. We're going to download the uh, security certificate also. This was self-created so it's not a true blue SSL but one that I created myself. I'm going to go ahead and copy these to the desktop now. Both of these files we're going to need in Apple Configurator when we create uh, initial uh, profile, profile in Apple Configurator. And again, the only reason why we're doing that is because we want to make sure that uh, we have one, the Wi-Fi connections uh, set up correctly on the uh, new devices, and we also want those profiles and the security cert so that we can connect to the uh, Profile Manager server. So I've started Apple Configurator. Go ahead and create a new, prepare a new uh, group of, in this case, iPads. Now those old, uh, old uh, profile and the security SSL are deleted. I'm just going to replace the uh, trust profile though with the new one. So that's what I'm doing here. And the last thing I need to do now is I need to create a uh, a new profile uh, just for the Wi-Fi. I don't have to configure anything else in Apple Profile because I'm going to use uh, uh, Profile Manager and Apple Server to do that uh, remotely over the air. So go ahead and create a new profile and this will just be for the Wi-Fi. Oh, I need to make sure I put that in there, the Wi-Fi profile. So I need to configure that. Put in my Wi-Fi SSID and set up security on the Wi-Fi so that when this profile is copied to my devices and a student starts it for the first time, it'll automatically connect to program uh, Profile Manager and download my uh, profile that I've created in Apple Server. I'm leaving one app to install here and that's Evernote just to show that I can use Apple Configurator to install apps at this point just like in any other previous install. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect uh, my first uh, group of iPads to a USB hub and get this particular uh, Apple Configurator profile in the iPads. Go ahead and start. So I'm going to drop that triangle and shows the point it is in the uh, configuration process for this particular iPad. And now when it's all done, we can go ahead and unplug the iPad and fire it up. And it will automatically now connect to the Wi-Fi and then download the profile that I've created in Profile Manager. What you're seeing now is all the settings you can see from uh, Profile Manager that are now uh, recorded from uh, the synchronization of this particular iPad.
So here's my iPad, and you'll notice when I swipe to the uh, right, I have Evernote in there and all my standard apps. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop this particular iPad into a group, my student iPads group, and then I'll go ahead and configure uh, the profile using Profile Manager on the Apple server. So you've got the, the same settings you do on any uh, mobile device management system. So a lot of these should look familiar if you've uh, watched anything on any other uh, mobile device management, uh, management systems. I can configure accessibility if we're in uh, Smarter Balance and I just want them to use this particular app. I can do that right here and put it in kiosk mode. In addition, I have my uh, restrictions. I can restrict any of the settings uh, that I want. Turn camera off, turn iP uh, uh, iTunes off. All those things can be set just like they can from um, Apple Configurator or from um, a mobile device management system. So here I'm going to go install uh, a new app. I'm in iTunes and I've uh, downloaded uh, the free Digo application. And at this point I'm going to um, add that particular app to my group student iPads. So I click the gear and I select edit apps and at this point I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus and then add the uh, Digo app. And the way I can do that easily to figure out where that particular app is on my computer is um, just you know right click on the uh, icon in iTunes and it'll give me the uh, location and then just drag that into your edit app list and add it to your list of apps to install. So now I have one active task and that's the app and as soon as I fire up the iPad it will connect to Profile Manager and over the air download that particular app to the iPad. Now in order for this to work there's one thing that has to be done. So here it is installing that app on the iPad and that one thing that has to be done is uh, you have to have the iPad set set up for iCloud and it has to use the same account that downloaded the app originally in iTunes so there's Digo now installed on this iPad and so here's the iCloud settings for this iPad notice that the account is um, the same account that was used to download the app in, in uh, iTunes on the Mac when I originally downloaded that app for distribution to the uh, iPads. And that's it.